Dan, thanks a lot for really interesting material. In your experience, what kind of messaging actually delivers to people something they can take with them on an individual basis to actually influence the course of climate change? You know, boy, there's not one simple answer. And I think I've approached it as, I think what we need is a diversity of tactics. Because the way I say about climate change is whatever we're doing is not sufficiently worked. Because the science, everything that we need to know in order to do the right thing, we've known for decades. The only thing we're learning now are the are deeper and deeper details, right? So why has it been such a problem? And really it's been one of communication. You know, we are not doing a good enough job to reach people in order to stir them enough or in order to influence politicians enough that they're willing to take the hit and say, you know what? You know, I know it's gonna be unpopular with the people, but it's for the best, right? We, ha we just have not been able to do that. And so what I've tried to do is that everything kind of connects to people different. We just need more avenues and pathways for reaching people. That's part of the reason why I did that one climate change story with the models, the nuclear models, right? I basically linked climate with about the, the, the toughest national security thing you could possibly do, which is I nuclear see. weapons. So I reached a group over, over there that is like, oh, national security is important, national security is important, nothing else matters, can't, climate change can't, can't possibly be true. But I showed that by linking that, that one story. Then for um, a different audience, again, this book, I, um, I do, again, I, I do some work with Climate Reality Project, and that's Al Gore's thing. And a few years ago, um, they, they had a speaker there who was a policy person from Berkeley about climate. And we got, and she had been like to, to like a dozen of the, the conference of the parties for climate change. That's the Paris Agreement talks, right? And I spoke with her afterwards and she's like, you know, we don't need more policy. We just need Angelina Jolie making a movie about climate change. Now, she really wasn't saying that we don't need more policy because we certainly do, but it's only going to, it's, it's like the choir, right? How do you reach more seat? We want to get more people in the church sitting down. We just don't want to keep talking to the people in the choir. And there's really not one single way of doing it. It's, it's going to require a multitude of ways to do it. And that's really what I believe is, is it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a communication problem. You know, we have people calling COVID a hoax and we have somehow gotten so off balance where, where people at the highest levels of our government are just dismissing really important scientific facts, right? This is a, it's communication, right? Because, because they're, they're, they're reaching people through communicative channels, whether it's Facebook, whether it's, you know, this or that. And there is the fundamental problem really is, is we've got this really big communication problem and we need to solve it because we can't just choose whatever facts we want, whatever think, whatever we want the facts to be, even when they're wrong to serve our purpose. It doesn't help anybody in the long run.